How is it going everybody? You're watching then about tech. So Apple released iOS 18 today, but when you open up the software update page on your iPhone, you actually see two software updates, iOS 17.7 and right here down below, iOS 18. So what are you actually supposed to do? Do you update first to iOS 17 and then you update to 18 or you don't update at all, you just wait? Well. Let me explain you what you should do right now. Let's get started. Okay, so when you grab your iPhone, you tap on settings, you scroll down, tap on general, and then go to software update, you will load a page just like you saw on my intro saying iOS 17.7, iOS 18. And that's exactly what Apple decided to do. They released two software updates at the same time a new version of iOS 17 and of course iOS 18.0 finally the final stable public version of iOS 18 which was released today so what actually are your choices let me explain you either tap here on update now and then you stick to iOS 17. Your iPhone will be updated to iOS 17.7, which won't give you any new features, any changes like that. iOS 17.7 is just a security update with bug fixes. That's it, no new features, okay? So that's option number one. Option number two, of course, is you update to iOS 18 altogether and you get everything new with iOS 18. Now, my recommendation is go ahead and stick to iOS 17 for now. We will get there, we will update to iOS 18 when it's the right time, which isn't right now. My recommendation is go ahead, update now, update to iOS 17.7 and wait a little bit on iOS 18, simply because iOS 18 is still on its very first version, iOS 18.0. Even though this is not a beta anymore, this is a final version, but it will have compatibility issues, it will have some bugs here and there, it will have performance issues, your battery will drain a little bit on this very first version. So my recommendation is, wait, don't update to iOS 18 just yet and stick with iOS 17. Of course, updating to 17.7 to get all of the bug fixes and security updates as well. So when will be the right time to update to iOS 18, if not now? Well, my recommendation is next month when we get iOS 18.1. So it will be a much more polished, mature version of iOS 18, which will be the perfect time to update to iOS 18. If you're just not so anxious and crazy to update to iOS 18, that's my recommendation. But of course, if you wanna update right now, today, on day one or day two, or when you're watching this video, my recommendation is before tapping here on update now, go ahead and back up your iPhone. That's mandatory. Please back up your iPhone while still in iOS 17, before updating. This is very, very important because if you go ahead and update to iOS 18, this very first version on the very first days, and you don't like it, if you have all of those issues that I've mentioned, you can go ahead and downgrade and come back to iOS 17. And when you downgrade, you go ahead and you can restore from your backup so then you won't lose any of your files, okay? So this is very, very important. I talk about all of this. I talk about how to back up your iPhone via iCloud or via your computer. I also talk about the downgrade process and everything you need to know on this other video. I'll have it linked right here and of course in the description so you can go ahead and watch that as well just to be safe, okay? So that's pretty much it. Those are your two scenarios. My recommendation is stick to iOS 17 for now, update to 17.7 and leave iOS 18 just for next month when it's better, more matured and more polished. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video as usual guys. Bye bye.